Yeah, that sounds like adorable. I can hear it out of your microphone. Ah! Help me! I love. I actually do like the detail that he pounds on the door here. Mm -hmm. There's something going on in this room. God, she looks awful. I heard weird noises. Uh, is it rude of me to say she kind of looks like a crack addict? Is it rude of me to say that she also does look like she's a crack addict? So it's not just me. She looks, she looks super like down with the crack. Should I mention that the landlord's last name is Sutherland? And there's speculation. What? And there's speculation, but not confirmed, that it may be. A relative to James Sutherland, possibly his father. I can I can I give my own theory on the subject? But yeah, I don't of think course. Since we're on the topic. So you know how Silent Hill Four wasn't originally going to be a Silent Hill game. Yeah. So what I think happened was they named the landlord Sutherland as a nod to like saying we at the Silent Hill Studios have made Silent Hill. So like, here's a clever nod to like the Silent Hill series, right? Yeah. But then it became a Silent Hill game, and they left that in? That's actually and pretty now, interesting. And now it creates a little bit of its own conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. By the way, I just noticed that uh, Henry here has a bag of groceries. Dude, if you drill through those groceries, you can get to the panty drawer. Because <laughs> the whole thing means the panty raid. I am so adamant on this point. You just really want to see Eileen and her panties, don't you? I just really... Not even her in them. I just want the panties. <laughs> Fuck the woman. <laughs> in fact, yeah, it's not even for Eileen. Her. It's more yeah, along the lines of just for well. Henry and his secret obsession. I want to appreciate the leasing. Because uh, how else are you going to be able to appreciate fine Lacey... The laciest. The laciest of the lacy. So I hope what you do I uh, uh, we, we need the skimpiest sheath. So we need through the hole. Away. Enter the hole. I'm really trying to refrain at saying that's what she said. Because I feel like it's such an easy thing to do. Set up and everything. Especially with the joke dying as fast as that would be. Yeah. It's amazing how, how fast things like like that switch. Memes, memes, I'm starting to be able to see memes die now. Like, I used to not be able to notice until, like, years later when I go, remember this? But now I can actually see them on their way out the door. Like, YOLO. <laughs> oh, YOLO. People, people still say it, but it's like it's a dying thing to say. It needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. We must say YOLO in every part ever. Every, every, we need to fix the YOLO. You don't understand? Okay. It's time to, to it's time to test your theory, Alflame. Which theory? I'm in combat. I have these uh, Zelda leech bat things that you were talking about. Oh yeah. I didn't lose any health, but I soon squashed them all. Yeah, I was mostly worried about dogs. You suck at fighting dogs. Yeah, the little bad things really aren't too bad. No, but you really do suck at fighting dogs. Well, what can I say? Se the second more than one gets brought into the fray, you just keep fighting them. I really don't want to fight them, but you had an ingenious plan with just walking. I didn't mean to! <laughs> Well, that's I'm kidding! I had no idea their AI was this poorly programmed. <laughs> it's either poorly programmed, or I think they're trying to do the thing where these things don't have eyes and they see by hearing. So Maybe they like would... liquors from Resident Evil. Whoa, especially since their tongues are a big part of their being or something. wasn't trying to make that comparison, but you just totally did for me. Oh my god, Resident Evil has been ripping off Silent Hill for years. No, liquor came first. Did it though? Yes. Killed up. Killed them. Yes. Killed them. Yes, it did. Did it? Yes. Yes. Killed them. Killed them. Stop! Stop questioning me on my Resident Evil knowledge. Okay. Listen, you don't even play Resident Evil as much as I, I do. I. <laughs> 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 
okay, all right, calm down, <laughs> calm down. Uh, don't even bring up my knowledge on Resident Evil, okay? When I had oh, to man. talk about Resident Evil 2, that was the first game that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Heebiest of jeebies. Oh my god, I have nightmares on Resident Evil 2. Cool, that's a nice looking like. I won't, I'll give it credit, it's ominous, it's creepy. It is. Oh, apparently Henry took a trip a few years back, took a photo of the lake, hung the picture in his room. He hung it there. He hung it like a boss. Like a fucking baller. Maybe I should go back to the uh, apartment and go look for it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I have a question. If you were to participate in any genre of video game, which would it be? Like, any possible? Like, you are, you are now the protagonist in a video game, and you get to choose the genre. Probably RPG. I would go with horror. Horror would be my second choice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it being a horror protagonist and knowing it sounds so fucking fun. I really do not need that. Okay. I guess being I guess an RPG would be pretty fun too. I think so. I'd want to be in a fighting game if that's what would be my second choice. I'll play in the fighting game. Who would be your opponent? I don't know. You? That'd be a kind of a one-sided match. You in your warrior's outfit? <laughs> but you'd be a mage. In a fighting game? Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll do. I want, I want to have. I want to have the dumb fighting game process of just having dumb, big, ripply muscles. So, uh, Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. Exactly. <laughs> the the game that's so good that it was bad because it was good because it was bad. But it could have endorsement by. Shaquille O'Neal himself. Like, can I tell you something about Shaq Fu? Yeah, of course. For the time, that game was really well animated. Like, if you look at the sprites, and you look at them animating, and then you look at other games at the time, you're just like, this game has no reason to look this good. It's kind of a I tragedy mean, was... in the long run. In the long run, how bad the game was. So I wonder if I was supposed to go that way because it kind of felt like a dead end, but at the same time I'm kind of wondering if there was another door. You need to talk to the guy at the rock now? I don't know. I don't know either. I, I, well, I mean, there's a door over here, right? I feel like we should clarify to your audience that while we both say that we love this game and Henry Townsend, we're not, like, the most first in it. We're not. We know I mean, like, we're... I, I mean, like, I understand... What I'm supposed to do, I hear a loud sound, and that kind of creeps me out a little bit. Alflame can't hear it, of course. <laughs> but, we're, despite all that, um. Ah. Uh, oh, there's ghosts. Oh, that but, good enemy type that should be thrown in every level. Like the humanoid in Dark Souls. <laughs> Anyways, so going back to uh, what were we were talking about? I don't remember. How we're not super versed in this game? I, I, like, I understand bits and pieces of what I'm supposed to do. Like, I understand like, that I'm supposed to do this, right? I'm fairly familiar with... Oh, well, and of then. course I control it, because I think it's a cutscene, but nope. You have to walk, Just, like, one step forward. To be fair, it was framed a lot. Ah! Oh, boy. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh god! Oh, oh god. this guy is talking about revelation. Finally, the third revelation. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> that nosy guy that was here. I'm kind of with the kid on this, just like. Why uh, is this it's it's totally fine. Finally, it's gonna happen. Cause uh, apparently, when you have a revelation, <laughs> all <laughs> the random <laughs> emulations process you very well. I have a revelation! Oh, we gotta glue that guy's face together. It's not gonna be falling apart on our watch. So now that I triggered that, that I have a feeling... That kid, that kid was a genuinely terrifying experience. I am oh. glad we're playing this on emulator. It adds whole new frights. Well, I mean, like, I could play on the Xbox. I just don't really have a cable for that. You have a cable for that. I could play get the new Mortal Kombat with me. I suck at fighting games. It's true, but I will whoop you into shape. Oh man, can we have a training montage? Absolutely. Yes. I would be disappointed if we didn't. 
it'll be the best training montage. Anyways, because we did that, now I think I know where I need to go. Let's say this very loosely, I think I need know where I need to go. I have to avoid the ghost. I have to go back to the orphanage. I actually did make a fighting game training montage once. I remember seeing that. It was I, very I interesting. I don't know why I did that. That was a bad idea. Well, because you had the idea and you had to make... You had to see if it would work. And I did, and it worked out fairly well. And now, if I'm correct, he will be here, Revelation Man. I don't think so. I doubt it. No, he's right I don't, there. No, no, I don't, I don't think he's going to show up. And I just need to talk to him. There <laughs> he goes. A lot. What are those two tens at the bottom? Oh, that's your inventory. Yeah. Your gun and whatever. He gave me something is. really good. Oh, he's not gonna give me it for free. Well, maybe if I have, you know, pistol. No, 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 no. Give him the chocolate milk. But not for free. He's thirsty. Maybe if I have chocolate pistol. Is thirsty. I forgot about it. I forgot about the thirsty thing. I just really wanted to give him chocolate milk. No, no, I think my method is going to work just fine. Man, you sure did pick the chocolate milk out of the fridge conveniently timed. Yeah, because yeah. I knew this was going to happen. I didn't actually know this was going to happen. You officially know more about this game than I do. I know the beginning and the end and the rough plot. I don't know anything in between. Man, he is devoid oh, of the man, emulation errors. Awesome. Like, look at look at how smooth his face Here, is. Take this. Apparently, when you start this. having this random revelations and like, Wait, I don't honestly, know. you want to know my you want to know my suspicion? What? He's the emulator's favorite character. <laughs> A bloody spade, or blood inscribed. A bloody spade. spade. Yes, the spladiest spade. Spade. <laughs> Sorry for my mispronunciation. Alright, now I gotta remember where I gotta take that. I think it's actually the, uh... I think it actually is on this end. Listen, I believe in you. I think you can do it. I, I know where I have to take it, I just don't remember where exactly I have to take it. Please tell me Bambi's mom is the final antagonist. Oh my god, could you imagine? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you ran, didn't you? Quick, yeah. go through the door, reset it. Too Wait, late. Uh, no, it's not too late, you can go back. You have plenty of time. Jesus Christ, Gildan, why do you suck at video games sometimes? It's okay. Run to the door, We're hit okay. Nash X. We're okay. Gildan! That should not be as nerve wracking an experience for me. <laughs> when you run, you piss off so many people. Yeah, but they're already pissed off at you! Okay. You can't, you Not... can't piss them off more! Well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize dogs were gonna be there, because when I went there the first time, they weren't. They added the dogs! They did. Walk. Don't I run. am walking. Don't cross the street. Just wait. I'm just... It's not this way. So I have to go where the ghost is. I really wouldn't mind if, if in any way we could get a little bit of Henry's backstory at some point. I don't think they ever really give it, other than he's a photographer that lives in an apartment that happened to be... Uh, special. And he's a bit of a hermit. He's a bit of a hermit. That's the only that's the only fan speculation on his background that, like, that's it. That's as deep as everyone could go. He is a hermit. And I'm just like, great. Wonderful. You guys fucking nailed it. I swear a lot on your show, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. You know I don't really hold that against anybody. I'm just I'm just one not to really swear a whole lot, even though I think I should. Hey Gildum's audience. Gildum's super soft on everyone. Um just take advantage of him the entire time you know him. Aw, uh, don't take advantage of me. Then I will Do it. hate you forever. Oh no it's true he will. I was there. I saw it happen. Oh, I I pissed I pissed off one guy once. Wouldn't wouldn't the example need to be that he pissed you off? No, I pissed him off. Then what does that have to do with you being angry for it? Gildum. He started it. 
killed him. What? This is about the the example was gonna. Anyway, Henry Townsend has hair. 